Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Amal. Pretty cat. Bless. Say hello to everybody now. Well, they're not here yet, but it will be tomorrow. Say hi. <laughs> Mama, love him. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's a gorgeous, handsome boy. So, it's not for you, my love. Not for you. Sanded all over my cards. Do you have to, really? Cats aren't they funny? Funny little things. It's not really the time to sit there, is it? So I don't know who's about tonight. Is that early as the morning? But you're gonna knock all my cards flying, Momo. Hello, Vera. There's Vera. Say hello to Vera. Say hello to Vera. That's my mum. He's a good boy, aren't you? You're so lovely. <laughs> so how are you doing, Vera? Are you coping okay? It's uh, it's now 7am where you are. So, wow. I just don't have time to do myself a little flask. Um, oh, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Right, so we're going to do um, the air signs now. Okay, so we're doing the air signs. <laughs> yeah, she, he is giving them extra energy, aren't you? he's lovely he gives me strength good i'm pleased okay right so um i'm gonna give these a shuffle while i do the announcements okay um so paul virus had to sit through all of these four times <laughs> the announcements so i do apologize vera <laughs> so um just an update on greg um our lovely greg was um the reason why I did an urgent shout out uh, for Greg was because he was having a very bad uh, start to the to the morning. Um, he was um, in lots of pain, abdominal pain. He was finding it difficult to breathe and um, he was not able to sleep as well. So he assures me he is getting better, but it's still really, really hard. And um, yeah, so he's finding that very, very difficult. He is um, basically, I mean, there's nurses and doctors coming in and out all day long, which is great because they're looking after him. Um, but of course, it's interruptions all day long and through the night. OK, so he's he, he loves his sleep. And if he doesn't get his sleep, and of course, he's uncomfortable as well. So he's not uh, getting um, enough of that. So the sooner he can get himself well enough and we can give him enough healing, then he can get home and that's when his resting, I think, will begin. Yeah, so I've just gone into that. Uh, lovely, I've just uh, explained about Greg. So Greg is doing better, but he was having a very bad day. Um, so, you know, he he's doing he's doing OK. And he did assure me that he is getting better, but it is it is hard walking. So. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind listening okay um so the other things um going on is if you would like to support um this lovely man um he is doing so much for awakening people um, he's done it for many many years um and uh, a lot of people have said you know that he was part of their journey and um it means a lot uh, to everybody so um the the, uh, the way that you could help 
Greg is by supporting him via Patreon um, for as little as, little as a $1.11 a month um, or just a one-off donation. Um, this is his main job, of course, being self-employed, being in hospital, it's going to be uh, tricky. So, um, so he is um, he is very supportive to everybody out there um, for articles and things like that. Um, so if you wanted to support him, uh, Patreon is patreon.com and it is uh, forward slash in 5D if you wanted to. And he does a giveaway of a T-shirt once a month to people um, in um, in uh, his Patreon family. And um, uh, the next giveaway, fingers crossed, if he's out of hospital, he's OK, uh, will be December the 12th at 12, 12 p.m. And that's Eastern Time. OK, so um, so that's fingers crossed. Um, the other thing is the tie dye T-shirts. They are all the ladies shirts are at least 50 percent off at the moment. Um, that is not the custom customized uh, T-shirts where you can pick your own designs and everything. Um, but this is for the ice dyes. It does include the ice dyes. Uh, so they're just about fifteen dollars. So um, they're right down. So the, the sizes come up a little bit smaller. So you need to order the next size up. OK. Um, so. Um, so from uh, we've also got uh, join us for in 5 dclub now, this is a meeting place for uh, like minded people. So this can be anybody from somebody looking for their twin flame or their partner um, or somebody who is, um, you know, just looking for friendship, looking for like minded people to talk to, chat to, laugh with. OK, share information back and forth. Um, this is. Oh dear, this is getting on my nerves now. OK, is it? person called Marsha who is phoning me now during this <laughs> it's like really really you're doing this now and I can't switch it off because um, no I can't even leave the page or anything so I will have to answer it and put the phone down She just keeps saying Aries, please. Like, I'm doing this for free. Um, I've done Aries. Uh, please stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not right. <laughs> it's really not right that you do that. Some people, they just don't have a clue, do they? So I'm going to turn my thing off. off that's the second time second time it's run okay hopefully that's sorted it I don't mean to get grumpy but that is just not right so anyway where was I <laughs> so, um yeah so um in 5d club so join in there if you want to um if you want to meet like-minded people a lot of people I've been reading for um, they're from all different sides of the of America and all over the, all over the world and um, they they need to connect with people and they're not able to connect with people so yeah so it is sometimes nice to have um, that connection and in 5d is a good way of doing that um, and um, also I, my readings at the moment if you wanted a reading with myself um, some of the classes are half price, the one to one classes, half price. Um, and the readings, there's a sale on at the moment just for the next few days. And this is for um, they are ten pounds, ten dollars off. OK, uh, some of the readings. So um, and some of the uh, counselling, uh, psychic counselling, psychic counselling is going to stay um, cheaper. I'm going to keep that one uh, cheaper because I think, you know, if people are feeling low out there. Um, you know, they need to be able to afford um, that. And if anybody's out there and they haven't got it, just tell me. OK, and we'll come to some arrangement, I promise. OK, um, so the other thing is um, that's going on is every Monday, um, if you wanted to join in with a psychic development class every Monday, um, 
it is uh, 7.30 p.m. That's um, UK time, which works at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, okay? Um, 11.30 a.m. Pacific. Um, so that's five pounds or six dollars. That's every Monday. So if you wanted to join in with the Psychic Development Circle, you can. Uh, Saturday, the 5th of December, um, that is probably today for a lot of people, um, is Karen MacDonald is coming um, and she's doing a workshop um, and she's going to be talking and demonstrating um, the genius, um, the biofeedback genius machine. Um, it is an amazing, amazing uh, machine. This machine, it basically, from your voice and from a photograph of you, it can give you a um, an overview of your health, okay? And anything that is kind of lacking, uh, minerals, um, any ailments in your body. Um, and this, this machine knew things that I hadn't told anybody about um, from, from before. Um, so how, how it works, I've no idea, but it's very futuristic. Um, they do say that we are a thousand years behind, um, you know, the, what they've actually got. So, you know, they talk about med beds and all sorts of things, don't they? Well, this is um, this is basically what um, what she does. OK, so she's going to teach you about this. She's also going to do a live demonstration of it and also write some codes for um, everybody. OK, so she's going to ask you. Uh, to pour yourself a glass of water and uh, she's going to charge that water up with some sound waves and that will be healing for you so um, that is what um, she's going to be doing she's also connected and he and helps heal the children that are being rescued okay from um you know the, the tunnels and uh, the abuse and everything that is going on the satanic abuse um, so these children are being rescued by the thousands, OK, um, and they are needing to be. It's not just children as adults as well. Um, you know, some of these children have never seen the light of day. OK, so it is is awful. So she's got um, she can give you information about that she, questions if you want to talk about that. Um, and uh, she will also um, there's lots of other information. She also works with a, a lady called Patty Brassard, who uh, she's coming on the 19th of uh, Saturday, the 19th of December for questions and answers. Patty is um, linked with the military. So um, she is a, an advisor to Trump and she has connections with Q. Um, so there's, um, there's a lot going on. OK, at the moment. So. Karen is the Saturday, the 5th of December, um, and Patty is the Saturday, the 19th of December, uh, 10 a.m. Okay, Eastern time, 3 p.m. UK time. Okay, for Karen, it is 2 p.m. Um, and, and and that is uh, 9 a.m. Um, Eastern. Okay, so um, and both the Saturday classes are always 10 pounds or 12 dollars. OK, if you can't afford to come, but you want to come, uh, please contact me and I'm sure we can make arrangements for that. That's fine. OK, um, Saturday, the 6th of December is that's this uh, this Sunday. Sorry, this Sunday, the 6th of December is Elaine Thorpe, trance medium. Uh, she's uh, Elaine Thorpe is a, is a wonderful, very quietly spoken lady. Um, but when she goes into trance, she has a gentleman's voice. She has a man's voice, a spirit guide. And um, really, so somebody's touting on here uh, for them to have readings for inbox me for your free spiritual reading consultants. Really, don't you think that's a little bit cheeky, love? Block. Crikey, I'm really coughing it tonight. So I've, uh, I've blocked. So um, another one for the block list. OK, <laughs> it's just a joke, isn't it? I did say that this was all going to happen last week. I did actually predict it. That there was going to be lots of kind of confrontations and people that were going to get on your last nerve and that you've got to try and stay very sane. 
I'm very happy and la 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 la. So <laughs> I'm trying. I'm tr I'm definitely trying. So anyway, Elaine thought uh, her Jonathan, her, her spirit guide, Jonathan Hunter, Victorian gentleman, you can ask questions directly to spirit. OK, and he will give you information about your loved ones. So you can ask him directly about your loved ones. Get to um, them um, straight through. OK, so um, it's it's actually amazing. Uh, Saturday, the 12th of December, Tower Tuition, level two. OK, level two. So. Um, if you haven't come to level one, it's OK. I still go over all the cards in level two. Uh, so this is OK for beginners to come as well. Um, and that's it. That's what's going on at the moment. So um, as Greg would say, without further ado, um, he always says that I miss him. It's not the same without you, Greg. Oh. Anyway, we're doing air signs. Uh, so this one's for him as well. So Aquarius, Gemini and Libra okay Greg is a triple Libra um I've got Libra rising okay um so we'll start off with Aquarius and then we do Gemini and then Libra okay so let's have a look let's have a quick slurp of drink mm-hmm Honestly, I get a lot of people who try and um, hello from Australia, hello die, um, coming onto the lives and uh, trying to say um, if you'd like a, a reading, please come to. Me. It's like it's not ethical. It's like how would they like it if I did it? Just I mean, come to them and tout it for them, tout it on their business. It's not right. Anyway, it just makes me giggle. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what's going on. Okay, so who are we doing now? We're doing um, Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius people. So this is for um, the 7th of December through to the 13th of December. Right. Look. Okay, so starting off the beginning of this week. Okay, for Aquarius. Okay, lots of different personalities, lots of different people trying to get on with each other. Okay, wow. Um, I'm just picking out more and more personalities. It's got four personalities here. Okay, so we have four, one after the other, after the other. Okay, so. Um, this is um, there's two of them that are quite immature and two of them more mature. OK, um, so you've got somebody who's very bubbly, uh, funny, a bit sarcastic. OK, you then have um, you then have a um, somebody who is sarcastic. Uh, this person has got kind of a spoiled feeling about them where they want everything and they want to give nothing back okay um so this sort of personality is around you as well um you also have somebody um around you at uh, the beginning of the week who um they spend all of their money and then they want your money so um this person isn't very good with their finances or they aren't um, earning enough themselves and therefore they're getting into a bit of a pickle with with the finances um and then we've got somebody who likes the sound of their own voice and can be quite opinionated um, and this person is around you also and this is all the beginning of this week okay so you've seen all these personalities they're all quite lively kind of vibrant personalities um, with very clear definite um, you know agendas and feelings and sometimes that will clash as well okay there is um somebody who is um ready and willing to earn more money and wants to know how to do it um so i do feel that um this is connected to you but i think that you're talking to somebody else about it about maybe a way of getting together and earning some money together um doing something that um 
you know, will help each other out in some way, bartering um, and um, doing that kind of banter situation. So um, I see that. Um, emotionally, feeling as if I've got to let uh, my emotions go or I've got to let my guard down. Um, now, this feeling of letting your guard down is going to be linked to um, a relationship that has had a lot of complications in the past. These complications, um, they're not going to get any better unless there is um, unless there is a new understanding happening um, and able to branch and connect back. OK, so I feel that there is um, having to deal with things, having to go to the heart of the matter and deal with whatever this situation is. And um, going forward, OK, it just feels as if um, you have got to somehow um, look to the future, um, look at the future more brightly um, and um, definitely it, it's like stop looking behind and look ahead because it feels as if there's some th some sort of emotional stuff that is being dredged up from the past and the past is not going to make anything better. Um, it, it is only going to make things more complex. Um, I feel that there'll be a sudden change and I feel that this will be linked to standing your ground. OK, so standing your ground and I feel that it will come out of the blue. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not going to back down. I know what I want now. OK, and um, there is somebody who is very good with money um, around. And I feel that this um, actually it's you. Um, so there seems to be a self-employment situation that is going to bring about some good finances or a chance to earn um, some good money. Um, this will be all starting out very, very soon um, around the middle to the end of um, this next week, which will be around the 13th, maybe even going on to the 14th of December. Um, there's a chance here of um, following your dreams, following your wishes, um, and that's how strong it will feel that you are actually experiencing um, being able to um, you know, win. It feels as if it's like a winning feeling of, you know, finally, I'm able to do this. Finally, this is all working out for me, you know, and following your dreams. Now, there are still some complications, but not as many. OK, and I feel that, you know, this um, this will all start to change. Like I see the legal paperwork or official paperwork um, that will soon be sorted out to make things easier for you on a financial level or linked with your dreams so that you can be uh, supported financially. OK, so that is what is going on uh, with Aquarius. OK. Right. So Gemini's. Let's have a look at Gemini's. OK. Right, so the start of the week, boost of confidence is coming your way. Uh, we're starting off the beginning of the week uh, for Gemininians um, with being um, with feeling very happy, very confident, very um, bright and cheerful. OK, there seems to be people that you might have had study plans with studying, le uh, learning things, uh, development. Uh, researching, looking into things and that lovely, um, uh, it's like a, a buoyant, happy feeling and the reconnection. So uh, these people you have either worked with before, um, you know, connected with. And, and this this is like, you know, when you don't have to be around somebody um, all the time to still feel that familiar feeling where friendships feel like family. And it's like everybody is very pleased to see you. You're pleased to see them. Um, and it's uh, just a lovely kind of feeling. So I still see as if there's going to be some uh, study and learning and development coming up as well. OK, and this will be linked to this good feeling as well, this boost of confidence. Lots of changes happening around the middle of um, this uh, this week. I feel that these changes, you're going to have to go with it, go with the changes. Uh, don't look back. Um, it's time to kind of enhance how uh, life has been treating you and 
um, and what you've learned from life and being very philosophical, maybe doing a bit of soul searching as well, Gemini's. Um, now, I can see that the flirtatious you, this fun, uh, sexy side um, is coming out. If this isn't you, this can be um, you um, being around somebody else who's got a fun, flirtatious side. OK, um, so um, what this is going to happen is it's uh, for some of you, there's going to be a temptation put right in front of you. This temptation could be to do with money, work or uh, or love life. OK, um, this temptation, you are going to have to weigh up the odds um, back and forth. I feel that this is coming directly because there's some changes that are happening. OK, everything is starting to happen. Um, and as the as things start to happen and develop, um, you are. Yeah, you're weighing up this pros and the cons, OK, about the future pathway and what it is that you actually do want to do. OK, I can see rerouting, um, talking about rerouting or moving, uh, maybe kind of uh, looking at different options to move. OK, it's like I can either stay where I am or I can move there. Um, if I move there, then I've got to give up this or just to me. So it's like weighing up of uh, whether or not this is the right thing uh, to do or not. Uh, there are some new ideas going off around uh, in your mind um, and new ambitions. Um, that start that are triggered by these brilliant ideas. Um, these ideas are on your life path. It's like something that you have always wanted to do and are quite excited about um, doing. Um, and I feel that there has been a little bit of um, treading on eggshells around uh, this, these new beginnings um, and, uh, you know, maybe taking a chance and and doing that move or uh, taking on that responsibility and not looking back. OK, and I feel that this these changes are um, for some of you, it will be linked with career work and. Um, yeah, career work and money uh, for others of you, it will be linked with, um, you know, your personality and whether or not it's time for you to take that leap of faith, whether to come outside of your comfort zone. Uh, you've been treading on eggshells around too many people recently and maybe it's time for you to say I'm bored of that now and I might upset you by my opinion but I've got to give my opinion um, so um, now be careful with that because I've, I've said that in the last week and it seems as if it's coming up this week as well where people are getting misunderstood um, that you know there seems to be a lot of kind of um, confusion um, over um, how people are feeling on a psychic level. And I feel that there is a lot of kind of messing about with the psychic ability of people, OK, from other sides. OK, so um, try and keep as grounded as possible. Try and keep as protected as possible uh, because there are some odd things going on, um, odd behaviour and odd feelings. OK, feelings that you wouldn't normally have. OK, I feel that things are going to start to change again. OK, and this is for the better. Um, and that will be around the end of the week where all of that feeling of um, fuzzy headed. I can't make up my mind and I don't understand uh, my psychic ability and I don't understand my feelings. That's all going to start to clear out by the end of the week. And you will have put up some new boundaries or some new protection or some new kind of restrictions um, with somebody close to you. It's like that's OK, but that's not OK. Um, don't do this, but I'm OK with that. Um, so unfortunately, we don't like being bossy, but sometimes we have to be because sometimes it can actually stop a row um, or an argument. OK, sometimes. So sometimes we have to say, well, that's the end of that. Let's draw a line under that. I'm emotionally letting go of this um, and uh, I'm, I will move on now. OK. So there you go. That is for uh, Gemini's or Geminians. OK, so we are now going into Libras. OK, so Librians, um, this is for my love. This is for my Greg. It's for me as well, because I'm a, a Libra rising. OK, let's see what's in store. We want the good health card. We do. We want the moving forward card, the wheel of fortune, 
what else could I want for you? The Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Um, what else would I want for you? Yeah. Definitely the uh, wrapping up in cotton wool card, the yellow uh, blanket card. I think it's the Seven of Swords, I think. No, it's not Seven of Swords. I think it might be Eight of Swords. Anyway, let's have a look. So this is Libra. Right. Reuniting with somebody that you have um, missed, uh, that you haven't been able to be around. There's a reuniting feeling. There's also a demissive, a demissive feeling of um, getting, uh, going away from somebody um, who you need to block, okay, or you need to get 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 rid of. It's like coming to the end of that or stopping um, some sort of communication, either emotionally. Um, so, yeah, it feels as if um, there's been a complicated emotional feelings going on um, and there has been um, a block or there has been disruption. OK, with that. Um, now, somebody from the past, this, this could be linked with the past life feeling or it could be linked with somebody from your past um, being around you and a feeling of I've got to walk away from that. OK, there has been um, and uh, a feeling of an appointment. OK, can't get over this. Uh, we've got the doctor's card. OK, see the doctor's card. Um, so obviously this is Greg's. So you can see the doctor. So this is about information that is going to come from a doctor. OK, now, usually if I wasn't kind of knowing it's for Greg, for other people, it could be doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent, interview for a job, um, some changes that are going on, um, maybe uh, that involve a meeting. OK, um, so I feel that there's links with the doctor, there's links with letting go, walking away emotionally um, and reuniting with somebody from the past. OK, going on there. Um, there's rerouting. So rerouting could mean for Greg. Um, it could mean going back, going away from hospital because he's also got the new beginnings card, the endings and the beginnings and a feeling of I'm bored. OK, or I've been bored. I'm, I'm bored now. Um, now, for other people who might not be in Greg's situation, but um, then I would say that there has been it's like a, a feeling of the end of that. Um, drawing a line under a situation and this is linked with um, home rerouting or moving okay and a feeling of I've had enough of it um, I'm bored I don't want to be there anymore or I've I've decided I've made a change and I've decided things and this can be about accommodation it can also be about the workplace that you're in okay now I said to you about the yellow blanket and I said it was a seven of swords I think I said it was seven of swords um, so that card has come up for, for Greg. I also said the Wheel of Fortune as well. So that's come up for Greg as well. You said I'm colouring around the edges of my cards. It's only because they look so tatty um, that, that there's lots of energy around them. So I've done some in gold and some in black. Um, anyway, Wheel of Fortune changes, things moving on, things moving on for the better. OK, and um, this is the health card wrapping up in cotton wool. OK. And then we have the the um, eight, eight of pentacles, which is looking into things and researching. So I feel that um, this is probably, you know, anybody for Greg, it would mean that he's uh, researching and looking into maybe some sort of study um, that could be for his work, could, could, could be for M5D. It could be for hit what, what things he should be eating, what things he shouldn't be eating. Um, so it could be to do with that. Um, but um, there is um, the new feelings or new beginnings um, and um, changes of the health. Um, so there's also <laughs> there's also me if it's Greg's reading. So we've got the um, Pisces card. OK, so this is um, Pisces character or somebody who is bubbly, a bit scatty, um, changeable with their energies and um, can be flirtatious. Um, so that is 
me or for other people it could be yourself you're feeling like that okay just because you are um, a libra doesn't mean to say you can't act like this okay at certain points in your life but uh, this is either how that person is feeling or it's a character that's coming into your life um, we've got the self-employed card the, the card that says i want to get on with my work i want to get on with what i've got so i feel that he will be coming home this next week okay and you've got the world card which is a good outcome to whatever you are worried about um everything is going to work out really well okay so that is for libras i quite like that for greg there and for you guys libras that was a good reading i think so yeah so anyway that's me done yeah so hello md um so thank you for joining me everybody i know it's very very late out there and um i really do appreciate vera for staying up with me um in place of um of Craig being here. i really do appreciate it um hopefully i'll see you tomorrow vera um it's going to be good and um i've had a lovely time and uh you know take care and i'll speak to everybody tomorrow okay so it's um well tomorrow later today won't it <laughs> so uh, yeah i'm doing a workshop later today at 2 p.m um england time uk time okay bye for now bye